well, do you think it was true seventies tailoring in the nice guys? Like what both the principal actors on the money with the clothes that were reminiscent of the time. Nick, maybe I'll throw that to you first. Uh, I think, yeah, we do see a lot of authenticity in there. And and there's one thing that I, I, I was always kind of struck by whenever I watched it was in the uh, climactic sequence, you know, Gosling's wearing that really that bright, the tan suit, that mint shirt I mentioned, and Russell Crowe is a lot more subdued in, you know, a charcoal flannel suit, a white shirt. I think it was a brown tie. I mean, he has the sneakers, which which aren't really uh, what you'd recommend with an outfit like that. But it, it's interesting seeing that although this is a 70s movie, not always is, not everyone is always dressed like they're at like a 70s costume party. Like that is a business suit from the 70s. You know, it's got some of those touches. It's got the wider lapels and collar, but to me that that gave it um a ring of authenticity because it's like you know you're watching the rockford files and there's you know some heavy is going to be wearing a crazy leather jacket and printed shirt and then some guys are just you know dressed like a day at the office and uh so to me yeah seeing some of the more subtle styles represented on screen uh added to that uh realism for me yeah one thing i noticed on a lot of the jackets in this are the swelled edges, like the yeah. stitched border, or it almost looks like half inch, on, you know, some of them sometimes, um, you know, very uh, characteristic of the 70s, even when the lapel is thinner, like um, Gosling's, uh, the cream or tan suit uh, in that scene, the blue suit he wears before that, they have like, you know, like three, three and a quarter inch lapels, they're, they're pretty mm -hmm. slim for the 70s, but they still do have that swelled edge, which kind of gives it that little bit of flavor. I, yeah, I think there was like with Gosling in particular, a, a more toned down 70s version and probably actually quite a lot of toned down. I mean, he hardly had any flair in the trousers in comparison to what people would have been wearing up in the 70s. He had some flair. I mean, there was there was some room down there, but there was there was no Roger Moore Moonraker flair going on. Um, but then yeah. I thought, well, it, he's probably just going to go, guys, don't make me look silly. You know, I, I'm the, I know it's the 70s and I know I'm a bit of a goof in this film, but I still need to look pretty sexy and cool. So, I, I, yeah. But whereas Russell Crowe, if you look at his jeans, in fact, Nick, I think I saw it on your blog, his jeans are way out there. I mean, they're full cut, they're full bagged. And so, yeah, they, yeah. they probably just said, like, we're going to have to pick on you here with your character, Russell, and give you everything, give you all the trimmings. Um, but yeah, the, so the pattern shirts, let's touch on those again. Uh, Ken, you mentioned that you're probably going to try and get some maybe next season. You've got yeah. one on there now. I mean, we can still rock pattern shirts, right? You know, I live in uh, in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, which is uh, it's kind of it used to be kind of hipster capital uh, before uh, like Whole Foods moved in. Um, but like, I, I see guys rocking short sleeve pattern shirts all the time, florals and otherwise, um, uh, and kind of very busy like this one um so yeah i i feel like they're totally in style now uh or maybe <laughs> or maybe five years ago i don't know <laughs> they are on this zoom call definitely <laughs> yeah. uh, ken what what you're wearing right now i think is like the a very tasteful example of what's still like cool and like what i think is a fashionable way to wear those what i'm wearing is not uh this is absolutely a 50 year old shirt that is like 150 percent polyester and uh you know i've been i've been overheated since i put it on right before this call uh oh you yeah. got the vest on i only just, I only just oh yeah yeah nice <laughs> but uh yeah I, I i agree with that too i think that uh pattern shirts like that are you know having a renaissance but you know more more tastefully presented than we saw in the 70s not polyester not you know these four inch collars that you know could be wings in a heavy wind uh yeah i think the only trouble i've had with pattern shirts and i'm wearing one now i have a lot of trouble with this one this is the live and let die one that i always wear and talk about is the kind of ties that you can wear a bit i can only really wear block color ties in fact roger moore and for this one wore like a brown with some light swirls on it but it was it looked like a blocked color tie that you'd see when it when it's on screen 